Even though headaches are often portrayed as the number one excuse to get out of sex with your partner, it's much worse when they come after you came. <laughs> Hey, hey, welcome to Explaining Humans. I'm Margarita, and while looking through some literature on nocturnal orgasms, one thing led to another, and I ended up in a scientific orgasm rabbit hole, which brought me to headaches during or after orgasm. And I know nocturnal orgasms are very much appreciated and all, but I will save that video for another week and talk about sexual headaches today. I am, in general, very interested in science around the human body, cognition, behavior, behavior and health. So if you, after watching this video, feel like you could use more of that, please give me a tiny thumb up and do subscribe because it makes all the difference for me. So there are two broader defined types of these headaches, which are both rather rare, but if they occur, they do so in clusters of months at a time and can even turn chronic. Indeed, almost 40% of these headaches turn chronic, apparently. Men are almost three times as likely to suffer from such headaches than women are, and also people who are suffering from migraines are at higher risk. So for one, we have a dull headache in the neck and back of the head, which is caused by intense muscle contractions while having an orgasm, which will lead to a headache. It usually starts when you come and it is gonna last from a few minutes up to hours or even days. And then there is the vascular headache. This is a very intense pain, usually around and behind the eyes, occurring shortly before orgasm. And this might be in some cases caused by the massive increase in blood pressure which causes the blood vessels to dilate. It has apparently not much to do with the amount of physical exertion though. It just happens because of the orgasm. So having slower, less intense sex would not really be a cure for this kind of headache. After reading all that, about these headaches, I remembered hearing something like that from a friend once and that I had the worry that I would have some neurological consequences or that it would be caused by some neurological condition. And indeed I found that even though these headaches are usually no cause for worry at all, oh, although let's be real, I would be worried even if I knew they were nothing harmful or dangerous in any way after undergoing some brain imaging, how much sex are you gonna have if you keep being punished with how or long lasting headaches after coming. Sooner or later, it's gonna be like negative conditioning, negative reinforcement. Like how people used to train animals with electroshocks and stuff. Okay, I am saying used to train animals because I'm delusional and hopeful that people have stopped doing this kind of teaching. Anyways, this would lead to the person experiencing these kinds of headaches, not wanting to have sex anymore and suppressing your need for sex or orgasms is not very healthy, neither physically nor psychologically. Here I feel a need to add that just because having sex is a need, that does not mean that you should force someone to do it with you, you can always use your hand. Okay, I'm digressing big time here. What was it I wanted to say? Okay, your neurological implications. So if you are indeed having orgasmic headaches, especially when they are chronic, you might wanna get them thoroughly investigated because they could be a symptom of internal bleeding a stroke or a tumor and a couple of other things. Yay! <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't find a lot more about these headaches because they're not very well researched. There are a few studies on individual patients or studies with other conditions that cause seizures and such during orgasm. And this is sad because I would be really interested in more, but uh, on the other hand, a little bit positive. Well, because it means that not so many people are experiencing them. Although, on the other hand, I guess that people might not always go talk to their doctors about such headaches. You should. Consult your doctor. Tell them about the exact place and time your headache happened. And they will have you examined and they can at least make sure you have no severe condition, but just the benign forms of these headaches. That was quick. <laughs> well then, I hope you learned as much as I did in this video and will consider subscribing and come back next week because next week is gonna be so fun and educational at the same time. Wait and see, a collaboration is coming up. Already super excited about it. Okay, okay, no spoilers. See you next Friday.